A 17 year old recovering from a brutal baseball bat beating sparked apparently by road rage. This happened Sunday evening. It started in Roseville, ended in St. Clair Shores, where the driver was followed. Jermont Terry live now with how that teen is doing tonight. Jermont. Well, that teen is recovering tonight after surviving this vicious attack. It all happened when he was driving along Gratian here and the car in front of him slammed on the brakes. What happened next left him bloody and bruised. I never would have thought this was going to happen. Just looking at Andrew Carberry's face, you can tell something did happen. The 17-year-old's nose is broken, and he's recovering from a concussion after a guy followed him because of one gesture the teen made in traffic. Caught out in front of me and slammed on his brakes, and I flipped him off. Andrew admits he got mouthy. The two exchanged words, and the other driver kept following him and screaming. You know, pull over. The two cars continued down Gratiot in and out of traffic. At one point, Andrew pulled into this gas station to get away, but the guy did not let up. He's trying to run me off the road. He's getting real close. He's coming up to my side and coming over, like side to side. The road rage incident continued for five miles from Roseville all the way into Diesel Street and St. Clair Shores. And the moment Andrew stopped the car and stepped out. And he just swung it and hit me over the head. The guy gets in three good swings to the head and face. I want to find him and I want to make sure that justice is served. But Andrew never got a license plate number or make of the car. His mother is thankful he survived. I want to find him and I want to make sure that justice is served. And Andrew learned a thing about using the bird in traffic. What are you going to do with that middle finger in the future? <laughs> Tuck it away. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Now, this is no laughing matter because police are still looking for that individual involved in this. He's described as a white man, no older than 19, between 5'11 and 6 feet tall, with a thin build. Now, the interesting thing, even though Andrew did not get a make of the car, he, we do know it was a four-door silver sedan, and it had chrome rims. And interesting enough, it had one spare tire on the front of that vehicle. And also, um, he was able to at least get one distinctive thing. It had a Yamaha sticker in the back window. If you know anything that can help St. Clair Shores police solve this case, call them. Reporting live tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.